Yep, and this is a very good fish. Staying deep, my lead is about a meter under the flow. Let's see if we can get a look at this fellow. Feels heavy and strong. to the channel and for the subscribers um, welcome back today what I'm going to do is show you how to catch brim using a float now the setup I'm going to use is pretty rudimentary pretty basic I will be targeting brim on the river but you can use the method that I demonstrate today for any fish um, but if you're a beginner, or in particular, if you're taking your kids out and introducing them into this wonderful pastime of ours, this is a really, really great technique. And I'm sure that you will find this video useful. So on to the tackle. Now, as I said, this is pretty rudimentary. So for those of you who are experienced float fishermen and very experienced anglers, um, don't get too excited about this. I'm going to use a bob float today and the simple reason I'm using this bob float is because it's really easy to set up. Thread the line through the center, in with the wedge, the line comes out of the bottom to your bait and directly to your reel. Now the great advantage of this is that you can slide your float up and down the line by taking this out or loosening it and that means you can work with varying depths. Okay, so to set the, um, the tackle up, and I, I often set up before I go out and then transport the rods in the car, set up ready to go, because it just saves time. You get to the water, and especially if you've got kids with you, they're excited, they want to start fishing. You lose them if you've got to spend 15 minutes on the bank fiddling about. So you thread your mono through your rod, set it up, and then with this float, we just simply, I don't know whether this will come out, but straight through the, the float here. And there you have it, the float is on. And then with these cheap bob floats, as I say, insert the peg, and that holds the line in position. So the hooks that I'm using today, a single hook on the end of the line, just the one, we are fishing with bait, we're fishing with a float, so just one hook. I'm using mustad. Again, hooks are the one thing that you should not compromise on. Buy a brand, buy a well-known brand. Mustad will never let you down, they're ultra sharp. So I'm using a size six, which is reasonably large, it's not too small. And I'm using a long shanked hook. Now, the reason I'm using a long shank hook is that there are plenty of small fish in the river. In fact, the vast majority of brim are undersized in the Swan River. You have to return them. So it's catch and release. And you will find, especially with, if you're with young kids, a long shank hook is a lot easier to remove. Often you can grab the shank of the hook and remove it without actually having to poke around inside the fish's mouth. So here's a small box of split shot. You can get split shot from any tackle shop. You should always have them in your, um, in your fishing bag. Incredibly useful. If you need to fish on the bottom, instead of a ball sinker, you can put a large single split shot on. So we put three split shot on about eight to ten inches apart just pinch them on with your pliers not too tight just tight enough so that they don't move um, and so that they stay in position okay so we're almost ready to go pocket rocket batteries are charging up for the motor guide almost fully charged and um, so without further ado let's get ready 
let's get out there and let's get well hooked. Well, what a stunning morning. We, uh, we're under the bridge here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, you can see I'm fishing a very small bob float. The advantage of that is I can loosen the peg and adjust my depth. Three split shot <clears throat> and my bait. The, the tide is running this way very slowly. It's a very low tide. So what I'm gonna do is get near the wall. As you can see, now I'm right on the wall. And then I'm gonna trot the float along the wall. So this technique is called trotting and there was a bite. I don't know whether you saw that. I was busy yapping, I've missed it. So, <laughs> and I would guarantee the bait's gone. But we'll follow the float just to get an idea of what I'm doing. So trotting with the current along the wall. Bait is gone, so let's try again. So we'll trot again, exactly the same spot. I'm against the wall. Here it goes. Watch the float. Not a bad fish, this one. Um, here's the float you can see. And um, just below here, the fish, we'll get him in. A medium sized brim, giving a really good account of himself. Gentle bite. Let's get him in. <sighs> Well, a nice fish. So there we go. It's actually a very good fish. Same again. <clears throat> Float is cocked. It's trotting down along the wall. Try to get as close as I can, but there are a few snags in there, so you have to be careful. And what we're looking for is for that float to go. And then it's gone. And I missed it because I had the bail arm open. Okay, so <clears throat> I've just missed a fish here because I wasn't concentrating, had the bail arm open. But he got the bait. So I'm going to trot through the same swim again in the hope that the fish won't have been spooked because he took the bait clean off the hook. And again, let's watch the float. Just mend the line. And it was just about here. And yes, he's on. spirited fish. I think it's quite a decent fish actually. It's got some strength. I'm picking this for a 30. Very good fish. Nice. Yep, and this is a very good fish. That was a humongous run. And now it's dogging out. It felt like a really good fish to start with, but we'll see.
staying deep. My lead is about a meter under the flow. Let's see if we can get a look at this fellow. Feels heavy and strong. He does not want to come up. Well, it's a good looking fish. Maybe a 30 plus, I would say. Incredibly strong, I thought it was so much bigger. He's not ready yet. Don't want to force him. There you go, a beauty. Great condition, hey? Yeah, I'd say 30, but not much more. But incredibly strong and in great condition. Okay, so we've moved locations now. In the slightly different tactics here. It's almost like fishing still water. Clearly the structure here are the steel bridge piles. Uh, get as close to them as I can. And, uh, and let's see what happens. So I'll cast it in now, now that I've got the depth and we'll see how we go. <clears throat> so now what I'm doing is I'm just drifting slightly with the current towards these two steel piles, um, maintaining contact, just giving it a little bit of slack to stop it dragging. And as it goes past the piles, hopefully, we'll find some fish. Small. And there we go, <clears throat> a small brim. Okay, so you can see how close we are to the bank here. I've shallowed it right down. Um, if you are a bank fisherman right now, um, if you're a bank fisherman right now, you could easily fish this stretch here. This is Wind and Bridge, by the way. Uh, the only downside of fishing here from the bank is the boat channel is on your right. I'm not in the boat channel. Um, I've had a few brim houses here already. Let's just see if we, uh, if we can touch Lucky again. Okay, so I'm fishing this, pit, this part of the water as if it was the bank, as if I was fishing from the bank, exactly the same. Don't need to cast a long way. There are fish patrolling up and down here all the time. Drop the float in. Let's keep an eye on it. There you go. And, oh, he's off. But you saw, hopefully you saw the bite. He didn't get the bait. So uh, just a quick check of the bait. That's okay. Small piece of prawn. Same spot. There it is. Let's just wait. Watch. Maintain contact. As soon as it goes under, gently lift the rod and you should feel resistance. <clears throat> well, there you go. another one not a big fish but again another very spirited brim and you can see how shallow I'm fishing less than a meter um, beautiful little fish this one let's get him in get him released again right in the top lip he's out good saves me releasing him
and there we go and he's on and it's not a big fish very small brim but hopefully you get the picture well there we have it i hope you enjoyed that i certainly did uh it was a wonderful day's fishing um rudimentary setup simple bob float some split shot uh long shank single hook uh, and a simple bait piece of prawn or similar Kids in particular really enjoy this kind of fishing because of the visual dimension that the float brings. And I too found it really, really relaxing and quite a welcome change from my normal lure fishing. But I'll be getting back to that as soon as possible. And as always, stay well hooked. Well, it's a good fish and... Uh, yeah. Yes, fish on, feels pretty good. Whoa, fish on, it's quite a good fish this one. It's taking line, I've got to keep him away from the structure. Look at the size of it, fat, healthy, and I think that's pushing 40. Oh man, it's another good one. Oh, it's another good brim. Very, very good fish. He's not quite ready. But I'll just see if I can ease him into the net. He's in. Well, there you go. What a great fish.